What happened here? Oh man. Dude. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? What are the odds this is open? Oh, no way. I literally found a picture exactly like this in the cemetery we were just at. Really? It was like he was like right in the center, um, doing something. What the hell is that? It's a t-shirt from Hilton Head Island Middle School. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So you might be a little bit confused because there's just a random pool in my backyard. Um, but I'm actually starting this intro out from Florida because I realized I had forgotten to create an intro where I was. Uh, so Chad and I, as you guys know, have been on this really long road trip. We actually ended up in Savannah, Georgia, not too long ago, literally just a few days ago. Everything just kind of feels like a blur. Time is moving so incredibly quickly, but anyways, um, so yeah, we were in Savannah, Georgia, and we decided to do some randonautica, and let me tell you, we found some really, really creepy stuff, and uh, that's pretty much what you guys are about to see and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am on like a sort of little mini vacation hence why I'm actually starting out here and you know not on the location as I usually am but is what it is whatever um, but yeah definitely go and uh, smash like button because I thought the things we found were very creepy um, mildly disturbing and uh, very strange. Um, also go and follow Chad, I'm gonna leave his link to his channel down in the description below. And uh, yeah, go and follow all of my other stuff as well. For those of you who don't know what Randonautica is, it is this weird, crazy, wacky app um, that you use intentions and it brings you to a point on the map that essentially um, there should be something related to whatever your intent was. So if you, we use the color yellow, maybe you'll find a banana, I don't know. But yeah, it's been a while since we've been using this stuff and things just keep getting creepier and creepier. Hence kind of why I needed a little bit of a break. Hence why I'm here about to go and hop in the pool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, smash the like button and uh, let's get the adventure started. All right guys, so uh, yeah, Chad and I are in uh, Savannah and uh, the hell was that? The neighbor? Maybe. There's a house. Is there even a, is there a house? Okay. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> the, guy's, <laughs> the guy is literally right there. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're in Savannah and uh, we've just been kind of like hanging around. We decided to uh, start doing some randonautica. So ran a point and uh, first one was from a Tony beyond the grave. And uh, there's something really interesting about that intent because literally directly behind us is Bonaventure Cemetery. Um, if you've been following me for long enough, you know that I've been to this cemetery before, which is kind of crazy that it's like telling me to come in here. The point is really, really deep in there. And unfortunately, because it's like 950 something, we can't go inside because <laughs> the gate is closed. Um, but I don't know, I guess maybe we can like walk around that way and see if we see anything of interest. If not, maybe we'll uh, come back tomorrow. I, mean, I don't know. We'll take a little walk here. Yeah, I guess. might as well take a look. I mean, we're here now, right? Head so. The point and maybe. Well, we can't because the problem is the point is literally like all the way in the back. Yeah. So it's a little bit of an issue because they close at like five. <laughs> but whatever. Um. So I guess we could just go this way real quick take a gander you said you did want to see the front gate anyways because it looked really cool yeah they like pulled up to it yeah kind of and it looked great didn't really have a chance to kind of check around here but i mean if the point is like all the way down there there really wouldn't be a reason why it would be here i mean maybe i would because at that <laughs> point like so i do keto right so I don't really eat, you know, carbs or sugar except for like now because I'm on a on this trip. But right. um, like we just ate a lot. Yeah, we did. Um, I gained like 50 pounds. Yeah, in one sitting. Yeah. But if I was dead, I would not care about doing keto, so I can have all the sugar and carbs I want. Also, what happened to this gate? I don't know, but this is cool. That there's like a house. Yeah. yeah. But I really want to know what the hell happened to the gate. Like it's completely broken. What the hell? Destroyed on this side. Yeah. So we kind of like went around there we didn't even pull up to this i didn't notice this at all emergency call number oh okay okay weird 
<laughs> it's like just completely ripped off of the wall. That's uh, uh, odd. Okay. Yeah. I never noticed that building though. What is that? I know this is not really the point, guys, but it's uh, it is something at the very least. You hear music? Isn't that weird? That was weird. I heard something. It sounded like it was coming from where the car is. It sounded like it was coming from over there across the street. Oh, okay. Which is, I mean, it kind of sounds like it could have been behind, yeah, somewhere in that direction anyway. But I was like anticipating a car coming. I know, that's what I was anticipating too, and nothing came through. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> I want to know what this building is though. Oh, I think it's like a synagogue? Possibly? Where's that coming from? It sounds like it's coming from the inside. Really? There shouldn't be anybody here. Somebody was talking. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to try to open it. I know it's closed, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. There are fans on it. Where is that coming from? This is really weird. <laughs> so weird. Right? Is it that guy? I don't know. There's no cars though. It literally didn't it literally sound kind of like a car drove by? It sounded like music playing from a car. That's yeah, that's what it sounded like to me too, but clearly there's no car. I don't know, I still hear it, but I just can't figure out where it's coming from. What's down here? I don't even know if we're, if we're supposed to like be here right now, but... <laughs> I mean, I, I, there's nothing that says I can't come back here. Huh? <laughs> like, why would they close that gate and lock it up if you could just literally walk right now? Well, because they don't want people driving in, I, I guess. That, I, mean, I wish I brought my know, other... I wish I had brought my other uh, flashlight. Yeah, it's just a, a mausoleum. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's cool looking though. Wow, look at that. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty. It sounds like it's coming from inside the center. Yeah, you're right. It does sound like it's coming from inside the center. Which is weird because that's where our point is. But I ain't gonna f***ing, like, break in right. <laughs> at this time. I don't know. I mean, Alright, let's go back to the car. Let's see if we can figure out where the hell it's coming from. I know the one dude did come outside. Totally weird. But I don't... I, mean, I, don't I don't know. Oh, stumbling. <sighs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's the cemetery. We'll, we'll try and come back tomorrow. I don't know if it's a... Uh, a guarantee that that's going to happen or not if we have time during the day we can get here early enough but we might do it and uh maybe what we can do is run another point while we're actually in the cemetery um maybe i'll run a point maybe you'll run your own point and see what comes up right Absolutely. see where it uh where in there it brings us now it sounds like it's down there Maybe we're just both losing our minds. Uh, Maybe yeah, that, that fried chicken's going straight to our heads. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> highly possible. It's highly possible. I, I, Speak I, for yourself. Oh, well, yeah, I already lost my mind. So. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my mind a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, I'm far gone. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it could just be coming from the neighbor's house. But I guess we'll uh, get out of here and uh, maybe head to another point, I guess. I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of weird. I don't know why it would tell me to come into a cemetery that's literally closed in the middle of the night. Well, not middle of the night, but like, you know, 10 o'clock at night. Closes early too, so. But yeah, like I said, we'll try and come back tomorrow. Um, hopefully it works out. If not, is what it is, I guess. But I guess we'll head back into closer to town and see if we can uh, 
get something else. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, I already ran um, a point here and interestingly enough, I actually used the same point as last time, which was, I actually took a, took a screenshot of it and now I've already completely forgotten what it is, but it was from a Tony. I decided to use it again because it worked the first time. It was beyond the grave. Oddly enough, it worked again the second time and I'm actually in the middle of a cemetery. Chad also ran another point and uh, he's like down there somewhere at the moment. Um, so my point is like down in that direction. So I'm gonna go off for a second, just on my own and uh, see if there's anything there that's related to the intent beyond the grave. This is really spooky. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. It is uh, extremely dark. My point is showing me something um, at that building back there. I know it's a little bit hard to see. Let me just get my trusty O-Light. Good to go. There we are. Okay. So, uh, funny enough, the app actually took us to Bonaventure Cemetery, which I've been to many times, and I may try to actually go during the day, um, because the point was in the middle of the cemetery, which I couldn't do at the moment, obviously, because it's closed. Okay, so the question is, is the point at this building? Or is it that building? Or there's another building there? I thought I heard something. Also, I thought there was like a person standing right there, but I don't know what that is. This is really creepy though. <laughs> Hopefully Chad's okay on his own. I'm sure he is. I know he's been doing a lot of uh, randonautica on his own as well. Um, but yeah, it's really cool that uh, we came to Savannah and uh, we're doing something a little different this time. Okay, so let's take a look and see if by chance there happens to be anything at this, um, this uh, thing right here. Um, I'm pretty sure the point was more at this building, but if there's something inside that I'm supposed to go and see, I don't think it would be open at this time, obviously. Oh, there's like a whole seating area in there. Look at that. It's like a chapel or a synagogue or something. Cool. Oh, there's like a little baggie over here. What is that? definitely something in uh excuse me <laughs> I just heard something back there I don't know if somebody's like here like working sounds like there's like a drill or something This is spooky. Why does this look like it's abandoned? Maybe it is. I mean, I still haven't looked at this thing. There's definitely something inside. Um, I'm going to take a look and see what it might be. But I'm kind of curious as to this building, because it definitely looks very spooky. Uh, and like it isn't actually maintained as well like the rest of these buildings. And I'm also hearing something back there. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a house behind this property. Whoa, what the hell? What happened here? Oh man. Oh damn. Well, that's not good. How did that happen? Okay, that's really weird that I found this. The point was like somewhere either at this building or the next one, and we find this in pieces. Damn. People just going around breaking stuff? Yeah, I feel like this building is just, I don't know why, it just stands out to me. 
I don't know if you guys have the same feel right now, but... Uh, okay. I feel like that's not supposed to be like that. I swear if I find, like, an open grave with a body in it that's visible, I'm gonna lose my mind. Dude. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I just heard something. Where the hell did that come from? Why did it sound like it was literally the inside of one of those graves? Okay, okay. This is getting a little freaking weird. I'm just going to put this bag in my pocket for now. Definitely want to take a look at that. That kind of looks like it was something. Hello? I thought something was hitting my leg, but it's just literally this thing. Okay, I'm a little on edge right now. Okay, I just heard something again. Guys, I don't know why this is so creepy right now, but it just is. Whoa, what the hell happened here? Look at this. Okay, I don't want to touch that in case it, like, literally falls out. But why is that, like, completely deformed? Whoa, that one completely cracked. Oh, my. Something feels off about this place. I don't quite know what it is, but something seems weird. Oh man, there's way more back there. Whoa, look at the little lizard. <laughs> hey, little guy. <laughs> oh man, this place is huge. We pulled in here, I'm like, whoa, dude, there's literally, like, multiple sides to this place. Okay, um... I think I'll start heading back towards the car. What was that? Somebody hit something. I heard something, like, resonate. Like, echo, almost. Oh, damn. There's another lizard. He literally like got scared and flew off that that grave. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely uh, spooky. I don't know why I feel like a really, really creepy vibe at the moment. Um, let's go this way. We got this random mo monument there. Dude, this literally looks like it's abandoned. Like, no one's been here for years to do anything, maintain this place. Okay. Uh, the question was, where was my car? Because <laughs> I sure as hell don't remember at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I guess the app, uh, definitely worked tonight. What is that? I'm going to check on Google Maps after and see if there's actually, like, a house behind this building. Um, because it literally sounds like somebody's drilling or sawing something. Unless there's legit somebody, like, breaking into one of the graves in the back. I'm a little hesitant 
to go back there. I don't know, should I? Just to like find out what the hell is going on back there? <laughs> I don't know why, I feel like I'm so on edge tonight. And I really shouldn't be. I should be used to doing, you know, cemeteries. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's uh, anywhere else in here. Let's take a look here for a second. Oh, that door is like wide open. There's also like this ladder, or not ladder, sorry, staircase. Oh. Damn, it's hot in here. <laughs> like, shouldn't be locked? I don't like why is this door just completely wide open like this? I don't know if that's are those where the lights are supposed to be? Dude, this has to be abandoned. This is messed up. Ooh, what the hell was that? Hello? are literally coming through the walls. Yeah, dude, this has been completely abandoned. This is crazy. This is the last thing that I thought that I would find tonight. Whoa. like went back to the car or something I don't even know where he is I can't even see his light he was down there but now he's gone the car is there I can still see that yeah I don't know where he is right now uh, yeah this is this is nuts this should not be open like this. Wow. Okay. I wonder if this building is open too then. Well, I guess it's kind of good that we uh, explored a little bit. Because otherwise I never would have realized any of this was abandoned like this. Let's see. Like, what are the odds this is open? Oh, no way. What the f***? Dead cockroach. <laughs> uh, okay. There's like random balloons in here. I don't know, this feels really weird. Like it's just off. Oh, huh. that's sad. Two years old. I'm so sorry, Evelyn P. Bradley. Evelyn Pearl. That's sad. It's so sad when you come to cemeteries and you see little kids. It is so hot in these buildings. Okay, I'm just gonna 
lose that. All right, well, I'm gonna start heading back to my car and uh, yeah, figure out what the hell is going on here. I'm gonna see if there's actually anything else, um, like any other buildings. I wonder, oh yeah, I went to those already. And uh, I'm also going to see if there by chance is like a house or property back there. And that's why we're hearing like the drilling noises. Because it doesn't look like there's anything back there. But you never know. So uh, I came back to the car and I also noticed that there was this globe looking thing. What the hell? Dude, it's Yoda. Mary Force be with you. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that is so awesome oh my god wow okay um so somebody gave yoda to shehan i'm not sure who shehan is but have fun with your yoda and uh, merry force be with you <laughs> that's hilarious okay so um i nearly forgot that we had this thing it seemed kind of out of place so hence why i grabbed it if it's just related to one of the graves i'll probably just put it back um, it does say, share the love. A little notebook. Oh, there's something back here. What is this? What the hell is this? Oh, it's like upside down. Weird. Chad? What's up? You good? No? Finding more stuff. Yeah. Related to Anna. Really? Okay, that's really weird. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. What the hell? Did you just hear that? I thought I saw somebody too. Really? Way like by the entrance. Oh. Just like standing there creepily. Yeah. Just looking at me. Was there somebody there though? It was hard to tell. I don't know. Yeah. I thought so, but I, um, I didn't see anybody. Like yeah. I'm just going through something, and then uh, in a second I'll. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you something. It's really creepy, but uh, just yeah. Just give me a second to finish going through this. Whatever the hell this is. Okay. So it says, um, when he left me. I thought my life was over, but I realized it was only just beginning. 7-23-2023, which is July of this year. Okay, this looks like maybe it's somebody's journal or something. And it was on this day I realized I was never tru truly alone. I was never, I was truly never alone can't read tonight. My brain literally skipped one word ahead because I couldn't really make out that word. Uh, July 24th, 2023. Every time I look over my shoulder, he is there. 725, 2023. Uh, that's creepy. I was in Forsyth, Forsyth today and uh, every time I looked, he was there. He won't leave me alone. WTF. 726, 2023. Forsyth, isn't that a place here? I believe that's a place here. It says, if something happens to me, I just want my mom to know I love her. Jennifer, 728, 2025. Okay, that's creepy. Um, yeah. So I'm going to like maybe go a little further back. What is that light down there? I see something. I just don't know what it is. I think it's just one of the graves. But I'm going to go further down and uh, also check on Google Maps to see if there's anything behind this. Because this just seems really weird and odd that everything is kind of just like this. Just kind of left so abandoned almost. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to make of it. It just seems really odd. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think. Okay, so I was looking at uh, Google Maps here. Let me get this to focus a little bit. But we're here on this road. The buildings are all here. And as you can see, there's nothing behind it. And I was hearing drilling noises back there. And sorry, I blinded you. But 
I don't know if somebody's like at the back doing something, but um, way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> so let's. Uh, I guess we'll go back in and uh, and I was also hearing some like weird noises. I don't know what the hell was going on in there, oh. but we can go back in okay, and uh, and take a look, huh? From the inside of the. Muscle. Dude, literally, as I'm walking through, I'm hearing like weird pop noises and bangs and whatever from like the actual graves themselves. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so we're uh, kind of investigating a little bit. And we're hearing the drilling noise again. We don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if someone's here doing something. There's no cars, like what they right? Here? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like it doesn't it doesn't really make sense. So you can't cut through to the back from this side, but we can like walk around. I'm just really confused and I really need to know at this point. <laughs> oh, there is more to this place. Oh no no, I came I came through here. Never mind. False alarm. So uh decided to come decided to come towards the back of the building. There's a, I don't know if that's just part of this, but. Chad just said he heard a man's voice back here. I don't really know. I don't see anyone or anything. There's a light on over there. It looks like there's a giant fence over here. Not sure what's behind it, but maybe that's what we're hearing. Don't know. <laughs> this is getting spooky though, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was haunted. Let's see what's through here. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. Nothing? No. I, I think there's like a golf course back there. So I mean, maybe there's someone working? I got no idea, dude. It sounded closer than that. Yeah. I hear something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so there's, yeah, so maybe there is some people like back there working or something? I just thought it was kind of weird. I thought maybe there was like more graves back here and somebody's like, Unscrewing something? Yeah, yeah, so who who really knows, kind of but Alright, I guess we'll get a get a move on here and whatevs. Well anyway. Yeah. Okay guys, so uh we came back closer towards the uh downtown area here of Savannah and uh so interestingly enough in the last thing we found there was something about foresight. Then I remembered that there was a park right here. It's actually a pretty cool looking park called Forsyth or Forsyth. I'm not really quite sure how you pronounce it. So we came, we parked, and apparently it's free parking because it's Saturday, which is awesome. Uh, so super helpful. Super helpful, that's definitely a bonus. And uh, decided to run the other intent, which was Forsyth or Forsyth. And it's telling me that there is something all the way back there. I do remember there being a really cool looking fountain um, somewhere kind of in the middle of the park. But where my point is, is it's past that. So uh, we're going to head on over there now and uh, see if there's anything there. Uh oh. Something's on fire. <laughs> oh, someone's coming through. Um, yeah, so this, I remember this. This is actually really fucking cool like a gigantic white house check that out oh the lights just went off whoa isn't that creepy the lights were all just on back there and then as soon as we approached they all just completely turned off yeah <laughs> so this house is actually like really epic again I would love to explore it just because of how freaking cool it is isn't that amazing? Armstrong Kessler Mansion. Yeah. This house is crazy. Yeah, dude, it's like massive for one. It looks really cool inside. I've seen some photos of it. So that's uh, one for the future, hopefully. 
I guess we will uh, find out. But yeah, I'm going to start heading down towards this path and uh, see what the hell's down there. Alrighty. Here we go again. Whoa, look at that fountain, dude. That thing is cool. Now, what the hell are we possibly going to find in this park? I don't know. <laughs> I, I... Also, what is this? <laughs> Tofu never screams. Why pet one and eat another? Don'twatch.org, stop animal cruelty, go vegan. I swear veganism is like probably the worst diet you could possibly do. <laughs> Humans have to eat meat. Stop like being it's a cult just member, man. It's just <laughs> stop being a cult member. It's literally just, you know, part of the ecosystem. Dude, like it's right. gonna kill you. Right. So it's so stupid. <laughs> I love meat, man. I eat way too much steak. Speaking of meat, we got boxes. And there's something there. What is that? Looks like a clipboard. Oh, it is a clipboard. That's random. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. Rove us around to like is when this whole thing began. But for me, everything changed in 03. We moved into an old house at Lafayette Square. And I know you want to know more, so go now. What? Go. For some reason, I thought that was a WI7 number. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's. Oh my god, that's good. Right? I'm tired of seeing sevens, bro. <laughs> yeah, for some reason Chad just finds these weird things related to the number seven and we can't really figure out what the hell it is. Who's King George? I don't know. Six. 9 9 23. What's the date today? Bro. What? I literally found a picture exactly like this in the cemetery we were just at. Really? In a little baggie. Oh dude, it's it's a that that date is today. Weird, right? So, wait, no, but it's hang nine, on, say, it's say that nine. I, just, I just didn't process that properly because I was looking at some other people walking down the trail, but what What did you say? This picture, yeah, or something very similar to it, I found it yeah. inside, it wasn't this one. Hmm. I forgot, it said something, y'all yeah, have to go watch yeah. my, my footage, but yeah, like... I'll, I'll see, I want, you need to show me what you, uh, what you mean. Okay. It was creepy. It was a picture that was exactly like that. And it was just sitting inside of a little baggie. Was it the same picture or something different? No, no, because this one says coffee hut. I forgot what, yeah, what it said, London. but it was like a picture of an old house or something. Yeah, that's very strange. What is this? The fine etching uh, reproduction of a famous old Pennsylvania Inn is presented with the compliments of Norman Distiller Products Court, New York, New York. I know that's crazy. really weird. What? On the bottom of the bag, it said 1141 again. 1141. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Again. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know why that <laughs> is or what. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm not even near home at all. Like. Alright, well, I guess I need to look up what Lafayette Square is, if it's nearby, hopefully. Um, people head there next, but we still gotta finish actually going to the point. We're not even like at the actual point yet, so yeah, it's that's like a cool fountain right there. definitely, that's yeah. Cool. So the point is like down there somewhere. I mean, we already found something, maybe there's something else related to this back there, but something really weird is going on because I found like a weird notepad, um, which said something about Forsyth or Forsyth, which is here which is hence the reason why I even decided to come here in the first place and run a point. Uh, so, and now we found something else with today's date. I mean, and are, are these random pictures like that just all over this place? I don't know, I don't know. Are we <laughs> gonna find another one? That's, uh -huh. the, that's the question. Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll just continue on and uh, see what the hell's back there. There's also a bag back there. Should we like go see what that is? I'm kind of just like curious now. I look at everything, even though sometimes I really shouldn't. <laughs> but I'm just like, whoa, what's this? Yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> you go to a forest, you find trash everywhere. You're like, oh, hey, look, booze. Yeah, they finished it. Yeah, they definitely finished it. That's a, uh, what is that? That's a 80? What is that? Like? So like 80 proof? 80 proof. Taka 80 proof. So that's like some super strong shit right there, isn't it? <sighs> Somebody was getting wasted. Well, well, there, that's just they an are, empty bag, here. and I don't know if Whoa, I want to... Watch out for that guy, man. He's going to eat you. Oh my God, look at that thing. <laughs> Yeah, up. we're finding cockroaches like everywhere because yeah, of the humidity. Everywhere. Okay, um, should I open this or no? I don't think so. It's kind of gross, <laughs> dude. It's gross. I'm doing it. No, it's, oh, it's empty. Oh, yeah, it's, the roach is probably yeah. Cold. yeah you, you can have it, bro, yeah. even though it's empty. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> all right. Um, all righty. Uh, let's see here. So this is really cool. This, I came to this the first time I came here. It's been a while. And, uh, it's much nicer when it's actually running. Because it's like all the little mermaids or whatever those are, are like spitting water out of their mouths. But, still really cool though. Check that out. That's definitely a really unique fountain. Alrighty, well, there's someone sitting there. Um, is that King George? <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot there was like a monument thing at the back. Oh, maybe that's what, what the point was. Maybe it's the monument. I got no idea. Yeah. Well, let's get ourselves a little closer. And, uh... See if that's of interest to whatever. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> also, there's this really cool manor across the street. I was telling telling you about it before. That it used to be a funeral home. It's haunted and stuff. And one day I'll stay there. I think yes. that would be pretty cool. Why not get me no, no, probably not. Because ghosts. Yeah, the ghosts are gonna wake you up in the middle of the night. Apparently, they pull you out of bed by your ankles and then hold you upside down uh, so it's just one of those things that they experience. yeah I know right <laughs> okay so looks like we're at the uh, monument and I did confirm on the uh, Google Maps that this was indeed our point uh, Lafayette laws oh that's so co weird that note literally said Lafayette Square and then this is Lafayette, whatever that says. Boss? Yeah. Major General, Confederate States Army. That's so strange. Damn, this guy died in 18... Yeah. He was born in 1821. I don't know. Maybe that, like, thing was somehow connected to this? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't really know how to connect the dots on this one, but... Um, it is a really cool-looking monument. Very unique. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that big thing over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. Who? Oh. Oh, there's like three cockroaches. I just noticed. They're like literally all over that thing. Um, okay. Yeah. We will maybe circle around this thing and see if by chance there happens to be something. What the heck is that? Ew. Blood? <laughs> I hope not. It kind of looks like blood. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're okay. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, that thing is old AF. Alright, well, so far nothing. Oh, there's another, like, bust thing over here. What's this one say? Francis S. Barto. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, so I guess the point was literally just this monument. That's 
pretty much all there is to it. <laughs> huh? That's a new one. Right? Well, I'm going to search up this Lafayette Square and see maybe how far it is from here. And then uh, maybe we'll go there next. But I think that might be the last area I do. I'll probably go there and maybe just like run a point once we get there just to see what happens. Not sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's really all we can do. <laughs> okay, so we uh, have made it to Lafayette Square. It actually was like literally two minute drive from where we just were. And uh, it was kind of weird. There was like some person like down there. I don't know. They were just kind of like making like weird hand motion. I don't know if they were just like dancing or something, but <laughs> they were kind of like going like this. And then they just literally walked away. They were kind of in the middle there. So I ran a point. Um, I decided to go with the intent of Lafayette since um, that's kind of what I did at the last point and it told me that there's something at the cathedral So which is literally like right behind me. There's a giant white cathedral. So we're gonna go check that out and uh, I guess we'll see what's there Might as well, right? Let's do this. Um, okay Let's head on over to the cathedral Yeah, this thing is like amazing. I've actually been in here before that's the uh, the funny part, and it is absolutely glorious and beautiful, inside and out. Every every detail of it, and it's cool because it's like like all white like blocks, I guess, and then they just kind of like I guess went over it. It's interesting how they used to do architecture way back when. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure what uh, the intent would have to do with this church. Maybe that guy Lafayette came to the church or something? I don't really know what the connection would be. Um, there's really nothing here. And obviously we can't go inside. Because it's late. It's closed. <laughs> so... Whatever. Um... Ain't nothing here, bro. Just, just a church. Yeah, definitely take a picture because this is like a very old, like monumental and historic church. I don't think I've ever seen a church this big. Really? I have. <laughs> I've been in like abandoned ones that were bigger than this. <laughs> then again, they build really big like basilicas and stuff in Montreal. So. Um, I don't know. I guess we could go and check what the hell, like, was going on in the park. There was the dude, he, it was like he was, like, right in the center, um, doing something. I don't know what he was doing or why, but, yeah, man. I'm just, like, in total admiration of this church. It's just beautiful. Let's go check out the square. There you go, the sign is right there. Lafayette Square. What's weird? My phone is like suddenly in airplane mode. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, I have no idea why. That's odd. That is really odd. How the hell did that happen? I don't know. I went to the picture. <laughs> and it was just an airplane it's mode? It's just like, an airplane mode. Did you hit a button somehow? I don't think that so. That you weren't aware of? No. Okay. I would, I would be well aware if I put it in the airplane mode. Lafayette Square. I don't know. That is really weird. <laughs> I just turned it on. Oh, see, now I got all these notifications coming in. Oh, okay. I, you must have hit a button. But if you don't remember doing it, then... It's in my pocket. Yeah. I, mean, I might have did it. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, the guy was, like, right about there. And it looks like there's a fountain. Let's turn this light up a little bit. These squares are so freaking cool. Very creepy, but very cool at the same time. But yeah, he was like pretty much here, and oh yeah, it's like a random like paper bag or whatever. Oh, yeah, it says Lafayette Square. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that is where we are, right? So <laughs> dead in the middle. Why is this closed off? Or I guess maybe they're like working on the fountain or something. What is that? There's no water in it. Yeah, they're probably working on it. Maybe trying to like restore it a little further. 
What is that? Uh -huh. <clears throat> These little clip things on it. Yeah. I'm not sure what this is. That's kind of weird as hell. What the hell is, is that? Like written it? on it. Is there something in it? Money? I wish. <laughs> With my lock, it'll be like a, I probably a wouldn't keep it. Yeah, <laughs> I still probably wouldn't keep it because it's not mine. Okay. Totally random. What the hell is that? It's a t-shirt from Hilton Head Island Middle School. Stingray Track and Field. Okay. I, I noticed that I check the tags whenever I find clothing and I find yeah. weird stuff on it. Oh, do you? On um, tags, yeah. I don't know why. Nothing on that one, looks like. Is Wait. Is that the same guy? I think that might be the same guy. It looked, well, I mean, it was like a... The dude was wearing a dark black shirt, right? The one that we saw here when yeah, we first got here? It was like a electric scooter or something. I don't know if it was the same guy. It could be. Could might not be. What the hell is that? I don't know. Are those what I think they are? They're like beads? Yeah. But like the special kinds that you put in your butt, maybe, and you're holding them in your hand. Do they smell? Uh, does it smell? No. <laughs> okay. No. okay. I don't know what this is though. It's got a cow, a pig, and a chicken. There's some. It says 18. 18. Or something. S. S. T. T. 18. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Weird. What was on the back here? Quigley. Anything else? There's nothing like written on it. Huh. I find these weird bags with st stuff written on it. Do you? Yeah, it's weird. That uh. is really weird. Okay, well, we're just going to leave that there. Whoever that dude was, maybe, maybe he'll come back for it. If that was even his, I don't know. Like I said, the dude was just kind of acting strange. I don't know if maybe he was just like, maybe just maybe he was just having a good time or. Oh, yeah, you make a good point about that. That is a possibility. You never know. This is Savannah, after all. They, That's what I mean. They, like people do voodoo here, like legit. I do remember there was. Um, remember I mentioned the Oddity Museum? Yeah. So they broke open the wall because they realized it was hollow. So they kind of figured there might be something behind the wall. So they broke the wall open and deep inside there's a voodoo altar from who knows when. I don't know. That's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, we are going to probably hit the road. Um, I would continue going, but honestly, like we're really beat. We still got one more day I'm here. I'm exhausted. I didn't yeah. Even film. And we got about almost a 40 minute to an hour drive back to South Carolina. Um, yeah. So we're going to go and do that. <laughs> Get a little bit of rest for the rest of the night. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much it for this video. We did end up trying to get a few more points the following evening. Unfortunately, it was a little bit of a flop. We weren't really finding anything. We just kind of ended up vlogging and whatever. You guys will see the vlog stuff on the other channel. Um, just of the town, you know, Savannah, always checking out new things over there because it's just such a fun city um but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think because i thought the stuff there was really strange i don't know what the connections are i don't know if it's connected to the city somehow but kind of is what it is and uh yeah i am pretty much going to get back to my little mini vacation and uh we are kind of making a little bit of content here and there but if the videos are slower obviously you guys know why um i've been just kind of grinding like steady with outbreaks um, not taking much time for myself and I'll be honest with you it does take a toll on you I mean everybody needs a break or a vacation every so often and I just have not been giving myself that opportunity so I decided to come down here to Florida you know I got this pretty cool Airbnb chill spot and uh, yeah we're just kind of hanging out for a few days and then we'll start heading back north um, towards home um, but yeah just wanted to let you guys know about that and that is pretty much it. I still have another really interesting haunted video, so that's probably going what you guys are going to see in the next one. It was a location that we were actually invited to, um, and there is some crazy haunting going in on inside of that place. Apparently, I can't sleep today. Um, but yeah, that's most likely what you guys are going to see next on this channel, and 
yeah, that is pretty much it. Again, go and uh, smash the like button as it really helps out the channel. And uh, follow all my social medias, you know, the second channel, the podcast channel, of course, the Brave Podcast. And again, go and follow Chad. Help him out. Let's get him to like uh, 20,000 subs. He's pretty much almost there. So I really, really would appreciate it if you guys would be able to do that. But apart from that, um, like I said, again, I keep repeating myself. But I'm going to get back to my little vacation here. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye-bye.